So I'm actually out here standing in the rain <laughs> with my non-waterproof camera, my non-waterproof microphone, but whatever. Luckily my camera is covered properly with an umbrella. Let me take a little picture of that right now. Anyway, I figure this is a great time. We're outside in the rain. Rain never hurt anybody, right? But it could hurt your cell phone. So I'm gonna use this time to talk about my time with the Galaxy S7 Active. I've had the device for about two weeks now. I formed some really good opinions. I also, of course, have the Galaxy S7 right here. So I can kind of tell you what the difference is, what the similarities are between the two devices. And also, if I can find it, I have the Galaxy S6 Active as well. So I can also let you know, is the S7 Active really worth upgrading from the S6 Active if you already own it? Or if you wanna buy the S6 Active you know, outright, is the S7 worth the premium? Just stick around and find out. So to begin, let's talk about what the S7 Active is by itself. It's just a really good flagship quality device that also happens to have IP68 water resistance and drop proof capabilities. So, IP68 water resistance, why is that special? Well, you can drop it in the toilet, you can drop it in the pool, you can take a shower with it, you can be in the rain with it, and it's perfectly fine. However, one reason why you may be saying, okay, why do I need to get the Galaxy S7 active when the Galaxy S7 is already IP68 water resistant? Well, it depends where you, where you drop it. If you drop the S7 in the toilet, that glass hit in the ceramic may crack it, and if the phone is cracked, it may also make it not waterproof anymore. If you drop the S7 active in the toilet, it's just gonna probably bounce off. It may even crack the toilet itself. The S7 active is really strong. I did a drop test with the S7 active, which I will link in the description below, but I literally dropped it. As much as I hate using that word, I literally did drop it 30 times, most of the times like on the glass, and the glass did not crack at all. The Galaxy S7 Active is actually made with, they say Gorilla Glass 4, but then there's also a coating above it to basically prevent it from cracking. The Galaxy S7 is Gorilla Glass 4 all the way around. So if you drop this guy even once, there is a big chance that one side is gonna be cracked. That's where the Galaxy S7 Active comes in handy. If you're one to drop your phone all the time, if you're one to you know, really just torture your phones, then it's perfect for you. I'm gonna need that still. Also, the Galaxy S7 Active, you know there's tons of waterproof uh, or rugged devices on the market. Why would you get this? Why would you wanna spend like $800 on this device? Well, in my opinion, the Galaxy S7 Active and the Active line has always been great because recently it's been like a no compromises device. Look up the specs for the Galaxy S7. The Galaxy S7 Active is gonna match it. It has the same fingerprint scanner now as the Galaxy S7. Just wanna point out the Galaxy S6 Active had no fingerprint scanner. Also a new addition to the Galaxy S7 Active from the previous year. You now have the ability to expand via a micro SD card, so that's really great. If you're one to you know, take a lot of footage underwater and stuff, this will be perfect for that. Um, also wanna point out the Galaxy S7 the speaker was already not that good because it's water resistant. The Galaxy S7 Active, the speaker is even worse. So if you value, you know, a really good sounding phone, this one, you might as well just, you know, not really think about. So if you're gonna be at the beach, at the ocean, in the shower, in the bathtub, just get a nice waterproof Bluetooth speaker and you're good to go. It'd pair really nicely with this device. Okay, so I mentioned that the Galaxy S7 Active is no compromises. So we all know the Galaxy S7, it has four gigabytes of RAM, Snapdragon 820, really good camera, probably the best phone on the market right now. I mean, name one that's better, I really can't. So the S7 Active borrows all of that. It's got a bigger battery, it's drop proof. It's a really good device. The Galaxy S7 Active, in theory, sounds like a better device, right? It's got a 4,000 milliamp hour battery versus 3,000, so there's that. It's drop proof, so there's that. Why wouldn't you get this? Well, I mean, just look at the devices. This one's a lot sexier, this one's heavier, feels more rugged in the hand. If you have no reason for a drop proof device, then get the Galaxy S7. If you're concerned about your abilities to hold onto your phone, or you like to go outside and just toss your phone around and not worry about it, get the Galaxy S7 active. 
if you don't care about specs, and but you still want a rugged device, get that Galaxy S6 active. <laughs> so everyone knows that the Galaxy S7 has a great camera. So put that on this guy. And in my opinion, it's a camera better than a GoPro. This phone can now be in most rugged situations that a GoPro can be and get even better footage. It has really good autofocus, great depth of field. Take it underwater even, and you'll be really surprised at the footage you can capture. I even took this guy in my fish tank, did some recording as well. I'll link to that video as well in the description below, so check that one out after the drop test as well. The phone being drop proof basically means that the screen now isn't gonna be as hard, so it will get scratched easier, it will get dinged up easier. Also, the sides of the device being plastic, while they won't crack, also get scuffed up quite a bit, so just keep that in mind as well. And also, just to throw out there again, if you're one for a good speaker, this phone probably has one of the worst on the market, but, but when the device has to meet these certain standards to be water resistant, shock proof, dust proof, salt proof, all that good stuff, the speaker of course isn't gonna sound very good. And that's all I really have to say about that guys. That was my two weeks with the Galaxy S7 Active. It's a really great device. Check it out for yourself if you're on AT&T. If not, then you'll have to wait Hope some type of unlocked version comes out, but who knows. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I make new videos all the time. Bye.